What's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Guys, I wanna come here and talk to you about search arbitrage because I've been on calls all day. Uh, we were talking about search and how to arbitrage search and I figured why not kind of just go here and talk to all of you and tell you exactly what we were talking about because there was a lot of good stuff going. We talk about arbitrage all the time, right? And the idea of how you can make a market, we're, we're market makers. So we go out and we try to find traffic and generate leads or sales for less than what we're getting paid for by somebody. Or if it's your own business and you're doing the exact same thing, you're ultimately trying to back it out to lower than whatever your allowable is. If you are, then you're just gonna increase your margins. People ask me all the time about all kinds of different search strategies. You know, how do you do this? How do you go out and market? And search is probably one of the easiest things you can do, right? You can set up a, a, an account at Google, you can set up an account at Bing, you can set up an account at Yahoo. Search happens to be the highest quality traffic on the internet. And the reason is because of one thing. There is intent from the buyer, the prospective buyer, potential lead. The way that it works is someone comes in and they search. When you go to Google, you're going in and you're typing in whatever you want and you're searching for buy a car, take a trip, right? That's you taking action. You're the one that's coming in and starting that process, right? Versus if you're you're in Facebook and you're scrolling in your newsfeed, you see an ad, right? That's not you taking an action. That's somebody trying to distract you and, and get your attention to get you interested so that then you'll click. Very similar tactics, right? Like you're, you're doing the same thing in search on your ads, but the intent of the user is different. You get an email, you didn't search for anything, you, someone sent you something into your inbox, right? Direct marketing. You know, with search, it's ultimately you're bidding on keywords. So I don't know if anybody um, understands how this works, but here, let me show you quickly. The way that it works and the way that the platforms work, like Google, right? If you guys don't understand how Google makes money, and, and they make money in a ton of ways now, but how their business started, right? Is their product is the organic search results. So let's pretend like this is a web. Let's, yeah, it's kind of different colors. And it, it, it varies a lot of the time, but I'm gonna keep it super simple. And let's call this the organic search results. And how do, how do people determine if the product is good or not? Well, based on whatever it is you're searching for, They want the most relevant response, right? You wanna be able to search for something and then it pops up with the most relevant response, right? There are people that are trying to get into this organic section, right? So, but what they do is people are coming to Google and they're searching and they're searching and they're searching. So what they did was they said, well, if people are searching and this is the product where we're giving them results, like right? different websites where they can go to maybe purchase something, whatever. Let's put ads, let's sell ads around each search so that it's relevant, right? So what people do is they're bidding on a keyword. So if someone's here and they're searching for pets, there's all these related advertisers that are gonna be bid, right? So they could have add here, add here, add here. On the top, they could have ads here. They're putting ads around the organic search results. And we're and, and you're bidding, right? Add, add. So there's SEM. And that stands for search engine marketing. And there's SEO. Then there's search engine optimization. If anybody's ever heard of organic traffic, organic traffic is amazing. You don't have to pay for that traffic, it's free. To get into the organic section, there are companies that work in search engine optimization. There's all these different things that Google has. They call it their algorithm. They don't tell anybody what the algorithm is because everybody's trying to crack it so they can show up in the organic search results. Because if you do, then you're getting free traffic. And it's amazing traffic. This is all great and dandy. It's not what I do. I am a direct marketer, performance-based. I, I need to like be able to control my traffic. I'm buying traffic. If, if this happens, awesome. But for me to be invested in a business like this is hard. It's very different. You have to have patience. It takes time. But so here's the ad space, right, that they're selling. And ultimately, it's their businesses, right? You're bidding. So you bid and you pay on a click. So bid, whatever, it could be a dollar, it could be a dollar fifty, two dollars, whatever. If somebody clicks 
on one of these ads, then they link out, they leave Google and go to your page, and then that person just paid for the traffic. The other people on the page who are here do not pay for that traffic. They're not getting it. They're showing up, but they aren't getting any traffic, so I don't have to pay for it. They're just getting an impression, but it's just an advertisement. That's the idea of how Google makes money. So their whole goal is to get more people here. If you can afford to pay more than your competitor, then let's say you can bid $5 and that person can only bid $2. So you're gonna be the one that's gonna show up there majority of the time. That's the concept here, right? And now what I wanna kinda of talk you through is to show you with this process, what we did is one simple way, which is search arbitrage. Now, let me show you how you would use search to arbitrage media. A big thing in this space is, is, is creating content, getting people to come to your website, and then similar to what Google's doing here, you're gonna put ads around your content and try to monetize that traffic. So how much does it cost to get you to a content page? It's a content page, like an article page, and that click goes here. And the way this would look is, boom, add, 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 right? In the search R play, you need to understand what is Google, how does Google decide on how much somebody bids, what's the value, what do they want, right? To buy media anywhere, we talk about this all the time, right? I don't, like, I can show you this, but like, I just wouldn't write a book about this because, you know, what happens if Google goes away one day? So I wouldn't do that, but what I would do is I would also, I would just show you like from a publisher, that this is supply to me, they have traffic, and you're trying to get your ad in front of that person. And if you start to type stuff into the, into this uh, search bar, what Google does is, which is pretty cool, is they'll show you the most searched terms or words in that specific category. So that's that's kind of cool, and you can use that in a lot of different ways. Here's the here's the thing that you need to understand. There is somebody coming, a person is coming to this page. Potential customer for you. And they are gonna get X amount of impressions. You're bidding on a click, which means that you don't pay unless somebody clicks. And that's really important to understand in this model. You have your impressions, and then you have your clicks. The way Google is going to determine if they like your ads and if it's the most valuable to them is based on some RPM or RPI. And what that means is how much revenue do they make for every thousand people that come here? Revenue per thousand, RPM. RPI, which is pretty much the same thing, but you're just breaking it out into one impression, which would be how much money are you making for each impression that you get. The math kind of works out the same. With clicks, it's not necessarily that if you're bidding the highest that you're gonna be the best. It's not that simple, right? Because let's hypothetically say somebody over here is bidding $10 per click, right? And this guy over here is bidding $2 per click. You have two bucks and you have 10 bucks. Let's say the $10 guy, $10 per click. Let's say that on a thousand impressions, a thousand people see their ad. Let's hypothetically say that 50 people are going to click. 50, you multiply that by 10, so it's 500 bucks. Boom. So Google now just made $500 per thousand. So a $500 RPM. Now this $2 guy, maybe his offer is so unbelievable that the click rate there is so much higher, right? That the click rate is the percentage amount of people that see the ad and then click on it, right? So if you look at it like that, let's say on the thousand impressions that they saw, let's call it 600 clicks. In the simplest way for you to understand this, the $2 per click company is worth more to Google than the $10 per click company. 
It's really important for you to understand, right? So it's not just about what you're bidding on a, on a click basis. It's what is the revenue per thousand, right? Because in the simplest way, what Google cares about is a thousand people come to the page. They want to know how much money are they making? And in this scenario, they get 50 clicks out of the thousand impressions at $10 and they're making $500 a thousand. And on this one where the person's bidding $2, they get 600 clicks, which equals $1,200. It's a $1,200 RPM. So they're making 1200 bucks for every thousand impressions. This is obviously more money. In a scenario where you're gonna be driving traffic, you're gonna be doing the same thing where you're gonna be bidding in Google on keywords. Big set of keywords, you put them in and you start bidding. You, you put up, let's say, uh, a max spend of $100 for the day and you say you're gonna bid $2 per click, so that means that you're gonna get 50 clicks. Uh, one thing about Google is you can bid $2. However, if the, the second highest bid, let's say, is $1.25, then what they do is they just put you a penny above. So like you could bid $2, but they're gonna charge you $1.26 which is really cool of them. You're estimating that you're gonna get 50 clicks on the 100 spend, you might get, you might get less. If it's, if it's working well, you might get way less. What happens is, is, let's say that we did that, we got 100 clicks, right, to the page, and now, let's call it a $1,000 budget. So on a $1,000 budget, you're getting 500 clicks to this page. You just paid a thousand bucks, you paid $2 per click, right now. So you're in the hole a thousand bucks because we're bidding two dollars and then a thousand dollars is spent because we got 500 clicks. So now what? What do we do? Obviously with the ad and it has to be compelling and, and why people would click. The thing is is that coming here and if they click it's because you, you said something that they want or need. So in this scenario what we do is we people create these content pages where they go and, and research and, and write articles all around some value-add content that's going to help consumers. So when they do that, what happens is now we're getting these clicks, so 500 people land on this page, it costs us $2 a click, and now the question is what is the conversion rate on how many people are gonna click on this ad, and then what are we making on that ad to determine if it's profitable or not? And what we're trying to do is ultimately make more money than a thousand bucks. I'm just gonna do simple numbers here, and let's say that you get 50% click rate, so let's say you get 250 clicks, Right? So on those 250 clicks, what do you need to make? What are we gonna do? We gotta generate $4 per click. And that's the model. It's as simple as that, guys. So hope that was helpful. I wanted to go over that a little bit for the search arp. Um, so uh, do that with what you may. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, uh, subscribe, uh, comment below if you have any questions. You know, join my, my text community, 917-636-1998. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. I, I love you all. I love this community. I love all the questions I'm getting. Keep, keep hustling, keep working hard, and you will do well. I promise you. So with that said, thank you again. I'm out. Later. Bye.